All right, welcome to Frazzled with Rob. Today, our special guest is... Bryce Milden. Bryce Milden. All right, Bryce. Well, it's uh, great to have you here on Frazzled. And uh, if you maybe want to just start and tell us a little bit about your journey to Cyprus and, and teaching as a whole. Sure. So I've been in teaching about 12 years. Um, my first seven years were an online school, so an online charter school. And then... Um, Got into Granite School District, was it a year at uh, Benyon Junior High, and huh? came back to Cyprus, yeah. where I teach financial literacy and geography. So, um, it was probably nice to move from a junior high to a high school. Oh my. That one year at junior high aged me 10 years. What, what did you <laughs> teach at the junior high school? I taught Utah history and um, the U.S. history. Okay, so you came here though, and uh, we brought you on, and you've been teaching mostly financial lit. Yeah, and then you picked up a few other things, but now you're kind of going back to your your basics of history as well. A little bit. I like to kind of keep the balance there, but I do have a good. I like. I love financial lit. I have a background in that. I worked at a nonprofit where I help people get out of debt and um, save their houses, things like that. So I've always had a passion for that. What's the, what are the two or three biggest misconceptions that high school kids have about money? Okay, so misconceptions they have. Um, let's see. A big one is just that they can't save. So um, they think they can't save money, and yet they, they are spending money every day. Oh, no. Um, they have a misconception that they can control that. <gasps> And so it's really hard to kind of get them to realize like, yes, I can, I can put off getting something right now that maybe I want, like the, you know, energy drink or talkie chips or no. whatever like that and, and, and be able to save money and get towards a goal. Um, another big misconception uh, just with financing things like some just think it's, you just get a loan for everything. So I'm going to go get a car. I'm going to get a loan for it instead of saving up money, being able to pay cash and things like that for it. Um, is a near perfect credit score a guarantee to get the best loan rate? Ooh. Well, there's there's other parts to to loans, so not just not just your credit score, but your ability to pay. So if you have a great credit score and no job, it's going to be hard to get a hard to get a loan. So we talk about like the 5 Cs of credit. So collateral, character, um, credit, and then I'm going to forget the other ones. But um, there's, the, there's, the others aren't as important. Yeah, no, they're, they're the. <laughs> but yeah, the, there's a lot of other things to credit other than just your score. One of the biggest myths is buying a home is always better than renting. Mm. So when is renting better than buying a home? Renting can be better when you um, are going to be moving around a lot. So if you're going to be moving, if you're in the military or something like that, or you're in college and you're going to be maybe moving after you graduate, it may not make sense to purchase a home because you're putting so much money into that home up front, you won't have time to really get that back. Plus, if you sell it too soon, you'll have to pay taxes and Oops. things like that. Do you ever, because of what you teach, do you ever have people that come and try to get financial advice from you? Yeah, yeah. Actually, a lot, a lot of... Usually, whenever I tell people I teach financial lit, they say, "Oh, yeah, I, I have someone I want you to talk to," or "Can you come talk to my group, my church group, or my, you know, job and things like that?" So I've gone around and I've taught, I've taught different courses and things like that in the community. Hey, the champ is back. Champ is here, baby. I got Coach Garcia in the building. <laughs> I'm gonna smack him. Let's go. One for one, all right? He takes one, I take one. Go. Teacher, head on over for lunch. It's going to in the commons area on the main campus. Thank you. Go to him, man. Get fine to him. Watch this guy. Hey, you're the cheater, not me. Oh, 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 oh. You're already lost. Look at that. <laughs> yep, you're done. Mm -hmm. Can't be a sore loser. Coach right here for it. Fair and square, baby. Here you go, coach. It's a new champion, baby. Yo, Adrian! I did it! <laughs> do you like geography? I do love geography. I love to travel. I, I love to, you know, go and experience different cultures and things like that. So 
What are some things you've done or places you've been? Uh, well, recently I just went to Europe. Um, I just went and ran a race in Europe. It went through France and Italy and Switzerland. So, What, what kind of race runs through those three countries? Um, it was an ultra marathon that um, was 106 miles. Oh. Went. And, and you run it all. You run it all yourself. Taxi. Yeah. It's not like you get like two miles in. You tag someone. And no, they... no. I could have someone take my bib and go. No, I I did the whole thing, but it took quite a while. It took uh, thirty nine hours. <laughs> so how does how does how does that work? Is there a certain amount you're supposed to get done at a time, and then you have a resting period? And they have cutoffs. Yeah. Um, if you're going too slow, then if you don't make it by a certain aid station by a certain time, then they'll make you stop. But usually, if you keep on moving. I had 45 hours, 46 hours to finish, so. Um, I mean, did you stop and sleep or anything? You can. You can. They're, they had cots and did stuff you? like that. I didn't, no. So I went through two nights without sleep. <laughs> so you just kept walking and running the whole time? Yeah. Like for 39 hours? Uh-huh. Non-stop? Yeah. Well, at the aid stations, you can stop for a little bit and eat some food and get some stuff. And one time, about halfway through, my wife met me in Italy, and she kind of, you know, we change clothes and change shoes and stuff like that halfway through. So when you'd stop, would they make you pay for your food? No, you can eat as much as you want. Yeah. But the aid stations in Europe are like way different. It's not like here where we have like Snickers and you know candy and grilled cheese and stuff like that. They had like their spreads of cheeses. Like France had all these big you know round things of cheese, and Italy had all their like meats, so like salami and prosciutto and all that stuff that you could eat. Switzerland had some, some tarts and things like that, so it was way different than here. So what made you decide to do that? <laughs> what got you into this running until you can hardly move? I know. <laughs> well, I, I started out with, with marathons. So after high school, when I got into college, there's not really team. It's a lot harder to do exercise with team sports and stuff. I didn't want to pay for it, so I wanted to do something cheap. <laughs> That I could do. So I just started running, signed up for a marathon, did that. Um, I really like trail running more because I like being up in the mountains and it's it's actually a lot easier on my on my knees and stuff like that to be on trails than it is on, on the pavement. So really, wouldn't trails with all the rocks and bumps be harder <clears throat> on you? It's it's kinda of more it works your different muscles. So all of your micro muscles are, are work differently on that. Rather than the same motion for twenty six miles on hard pavement, that is actually more jarring and stuff on your on your body. So the only comparable thing I can think of for me is it's a lot easier on my knees when I take the elevator instead uh -huh. of walking yeah. up the stairs here. <laughs> hey, this is a new segment called Is That Weird? Is that weird? Sometimes I like to go to district meetings and act like I have small hands. What are your favorite kinds of movies? Oh, I usually like comedies. Hi! I like to have something I just can laugh at. Things like that. Do you have a favorite movie? Oh, I don't know. Um, I like a lot of the cartoon movies. I like something like Emperor's New Groove. I love like Rocket Man. Some of the older classic, just funny. My favorite movies. comedy is Dumb and Dumber. I do love Dumb and Dumber. Um, My wife and I quote it all the time. Oh, I have a family. I have four kids, um, ages 20 all the way down to nine. So, love them. They're all in different schools. Do so you have like elementary? Do you have a junior high kid, high yep. school kid, and graduate then? Yeah, almost high school. My daughter's in eighth grade. I have two middle schoolers right now. Poor kids in middle school and then elementary. So a little bit of a gap between there them is a and gap. The yeah, year. there's a gap yeah. between the oldest and so the guru of finances, running, and multiple things, Bryce Milden. So, <laughs> peace out. Thank you.